the world of cameras has never been more competitive than it is today. Every year we see major announcements, but some moments stand out more than others. And 2025 is definitely one of those years. After months of speculation, leaks from insiders, heated online debates, and endless forum discussions, Sony has finally confirmed the final specifications and release date for the brand new Sony A7 V. And trust me, this isn't just another refresh. This camera has been designed to shake up the entire mirrorless landscape. With its confirmed release date set for October 2025, the Sony A7 V is shaping up to be the company's most ambitious hybrid camera to date. It's not just an incremental upgrade. It's a bold statement aimed at professionals, content creators, filmmakers, and photographers who demand the very best. In today's deep dive, we'll explore every detail about the A7 V, including its specs, sensor technology, video capabilities, autofocus advancements, competitive pricing, and how it stacks up against rivals like the Canon EOS R6 Mark II, the Nikon Z7 III, and Panasonic's S5Y X. This breakdown is more than a spec sheet. It's an exploration of what makes the A7 V potential flagship killer in Sony's Alpha lineup. So whether you're a longtime Sony shooter, someone thinking of switching systems, or just curious about the future of photography and videography, stick around, because the A7 V deserves your full attention. Why the Sony A7 V matters, so much Sony's A7 series has defined the mirrorless revolution for over a decade. From the very first A7 to the massively successful A7 III, which became the go-to hybrid camera for YouTubers, wedding photographers, and indie filmmakers, the lineup has consistently delivered innovation in compact form factors. But the industry in 2025 looks very different from when the A7 first appeared. Canon has made huge strides with its EOS R series. Nikon has bounced back strongly with the Z lineup. Panasonic has doubled down on video-first mirrorless bodies and Fujifilm has captured hybrid shooters with its APS-C and medium format options. In such a crowded field, Sony couldn't afford to play it safe. The Sony a7 V is Sony's response to this pressure. It's a camera that doesn't just refine what came before, it redefines what a full-frame mirrorless hybrid can be. A decade of evolution. The a7 Legacy Sony, a7 V, 2025. The newest evolution, combining ultra-high resolution, groundbreaking AI autofocus, advanced video options, and improved ergonomics into a single body. Each generation solved pain points and pushed the boundaries. The A7 V, however, feels like a culmination, a no-compromises machine built for an era where creators demand everything in one package. Sony A7 V Specs Breakdown new 45MP full-frame sensor at The heart of the A7 V is a brand new 45-megapixel back-illuminated full-frame sensor. This isn't just about numbers, it's about balance. At 45 Mamler P, you get both ultra-high resolution for detailed stills and enough speed for action and video work. Unlike the 61 Mamler P sensor of the A7R5, which prioritizes resolution, the A7 V strikes a sweet spot between detail, low-light performance, and burst shooting speed. Bion's XR Plus processor with AI integration. The processing engine is Sony's new Bion's XR Plus, paired with an updated AI-powered processing unit. This means faster readout speeds, reduced rolling shutter, and incredibly smart autofocus recognition. The AI chip doesn't just track faces, it recognizes animals, birds, vehicles, and even insects with pinpoint precision. Autofocus. Next level tracking Sony has always led the industry in autofocus, but the A7 V takes it further. Real-time subject recognition powered by AI.expanded subject detection including wildlife categories. Enhanced IAF that works across humans, animals, and birds, even when partially obscured. Unprecedented reliability in low light and fast action. If autofocus was one of the reasons people switched to Sony, the A7 V cements their lead once again. 8K video at 60 FPS for filmmakers, the headline spec is 8K video at 60 frames per second. This is a huge step, positioning the A7 V as a serious cinema tool. Importantly, Sony claims minimal overheating, thanks to an improved heat dissipation system borrowed from their cinema line. Other video specs include 4K recording at up to 120 FPS with full pixel readout, dark 10 bit, 4.2.2 internal recording at Cinetone, and S Log 3 profiles for cinematic color grading, dart raw, video output via HDMI. Improved. 
Stabilization, the A75 introduces a new 7.5 stop IBIS system, offering industry leading stabilization. Combined with Sony's active mode, handheld shooting feels smoother than ever, even without a gimbal. High speed shooting photographers get up to 15 FPS continuous shooting with mechanical shutter and 30 FPS with electronic shutter, ensuring no action moment is missed. Build an ergonomic Sony listen to feedback. The grip is deeper, buttons are larger, and the menu system, long a sore point, has been streamlined for faster navigation. The body also features dual CFX Press Type A and SD card slots for maximum flexibility. Battery and connectivity with the NPFZ100 battery expect longer shooting times, while new connectivity options make it perfect for modern workflows. How does it compare against rivals? The A75 isn't launching in a vacuum, it's entering a fiercely competitive market. Let's see how it stacks up against its main rivals. Canon EOS R6 Mark II. Canon's camera is fast and reliable, but limited to 24 memory and doesn't offer 8K. Sony wins on resolution and video flexibility. Nikon Z7. 3. Nikon's high resolution option delivers great image quality, but Sony's AI autofocus and video specs give it an edge for hybrid creators. Panasonic S5 iX. Panasonic excels at video features, but its autofocus still lags behind Sony's cutting-edge AI system. Fujifilm X-H2S. Impressive APS-C option for video shooters, but the full-frame A75 offers superior low-light performance and resolution. Sony's goal was clear. Outperform the competition across the board. And from what we've seen, the A75 does exactly that. The pricing strategy Sony knows the A75 will be compared not just on specs, but also on price. The confirmed launch price is expected to be around $2,999 body only. Positioning it slightly above the Canon R6 Mark II and Panasonic S5 Tri-X, but below higher resolution. Flagships like the Canon R5 or Sony's own A7R V. This pricing makes the A75 an aggressive proposition. It's not cheap, but given what it offers, it could be the best value professional hybrid camera in 2025. Why the A75 is a creator's dream for photographers. You get high resolution stills, incredible low light performance, an unmatched autofocus for portraits, sports, and wildlife. For videographers, 8K60, 4K120, 10-bit recording, and pro color profiles make it cinema ready. For content creators, live streaming, direct to cloud uploads, and lightweight portability make it perfect for YouTube, TikTok, and social platforms. For hybrid shooters, the balance of stills and video means you no longer need two separate cameras. The Sony A7 V is truly an all-in-one powerhouse, built to handle every creative scenario. Final thoughts. Is the Sony A7 V the best hybrid camera of 2025? The Sony A7 V isn't just another entry in the A7 lineup, it's the culmination of everything Sony has learned over the past decade. From its powerful new sensor to its advanced AI autofocus and professional video capabilities, it's designed to be the one camera you can take anywhere, for any project. With its release set for October 2025, the A7 V is bound to be one of the most talked about cameras of the year. Whether you're comparing it to Canon, Nikon, Panasonic, or even medium format rivals, it's clear that Sony has created a machine that raises the bar once again.